This stretch of downtown Elkhart is known as the Gateway Mile, and it's the gateway to fun on your next road trip. All right, so Trevor, the tagline here in Elkhart is, what do you want to do today? Walk me through that. Why is that the catchphrase for Elkhart, Indiana? Sure. Uh, we developed the Gateway Mile brand, uh, the gateway to really fun. Uh, there are so many opportunities down here uh, to spend a day, to learn about local history, to embrace the arts, uh, to grab a great meal, uh, maybe even a cold brew at a place like Yakida, uh, and, and enjoy everything that we have to offer. Uh, we have artists that, that are homegrown, uh, and that's not just the, the folks that use paintbrushes and, and clay to sculpt with. Uh, you know, we have such a long history in, in terms of music. You know, we're the band instrument capital of the world in Elkhart. And, and really a lot of our places are starting to embrace that even more and, and collectively uh, we're able to do more things to promote that and, and make sure that people can find arts and entertainment in our city core. So a little transition here, we just talked about what do you want to do today, now we want to talk about what do you want to do tonight here sure. in Elkhart, Indiana. For that we have Jason joining sure. us from the Five Star Dive Bar. How are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm awesome, thanks. Tell me, uh, I guess, about the entertainment opportunities for yeah. people yeah. nightlife-wise. Yeah, so we have, we have live music here four nights a week. We're a great option for comedy shows, live music, um, even a little dinner and some lunch. We have an outdoor patio, so um, we, we bring bands like Gunner and the Grizzly Boys, country, rock, um, nothing crazy. It's all it's all nice acoustic stuff on Sundays. And so. what do you think all of this adds to, um, I guess, just the scene here in Elkhart, Indiana? Why yeah. does it make this an attractive yeah. destination for folks? Sure. You know, we've been real fortunate to uh, kind of establish a little Nashville network and some Florida groups and some some national bands that stopped through here and they've kind of made it their stop. Um, it's it's been great. Bands like Sponge and Stevie Monts and American Young and Gunner and the Grizzly Boys up there in your neck of the woods. I think they come down here quite a bit too. So, so th uh, these are some of the names that people will see this summer, even. Ab absolutely, yeah. And, and it's names that you know typically maybe only stop in larger cities. And so we we're fortunate enough to get them here at, at a small venue, and it makes it you know kind of special. So. Whether you come for the art or the entertainment, a cool drink or a hot night out on the town. This city has a heart for visitors, so make sure to plan your next road trip by heading to the road tripping section of WWMT.com.